Well, let me tell you about some chicks that I know. I got a Latina girl that says she wanted hey fun. Guys, what's I up? It's I'm Light, and today I'm gonna be bringing you a tutorial on just some simple text that I made. And I know it's I'm going over a lot of text tutorials lately, but uh, it seems to be effective. Like I just did this one, but in um, the OC that I uploaded, I uh, had this text in the beginning. It's coming up here, and um, I wanted to go over that, just how to make it, not how to track it, and everything, but trying to make this metal text and then have like a little light swipe come by looks really nice and um, I think next edit going over how to make that that little uh where is it let's go right here that little uh kind of like audio waveform around the scope it's not too hard it's really simple um I'll show you how to make that in next tutorial so on the tutorial I'm doing today oops all right so this is what I'm gonna show you how to make today nice simple lightweight so let's start let's make a new comp new composition I make mine two seconds actually let's change it to three okay that's three seconds so first thing I want to do is make some text so again let's make it say I'm light and I prefer to use Arial the, the text I think it looks good personally um, scale it up a little bit make sure always to use title action safe get it just right there, perfect, right, dead center. All right, so we have that, and we can turn this off. So we have the uh, text and everything. So now what we're gonna do is um, put a metal picture under it. So it does that, which is not what you want it to do. But, um, and also I'll, I'll provide a link to this. I'll actually make a little like raw file for you guys to download this. Um, so first thing is we need to change this. It's on a track mat, so if you don't have it, this is what normally your After Effects looks like. Make sure to go toggle switches and modes, click it, and you'll see that there is a uh, that there's a it says track mat. You can click. Make sure on the metal J, metal dot JPG stands for JPEG. Uh, click down on none and click alpha mat I'm light, which whatever texture says, and uh, it'll make it so it goes behind. And now what I like to do is uh, play with the scale a little bit, maybe scale it down. And uh, move it around to find a nice spot where there's like actually some uh, texture. Don't want to go too far. You want to keep it within the bounds of uh, wherever it is. Scale it up, maybe condense it more, make it look a lot nicer. All right. So to me, that looks pretty good. So that's the main thing that I did. And then what I did to make the metal look even better is I added uh, brightness and contrast. And that's under color correction, brightness and contrast, and color correction curves. So the first step I did was I brought up the contrast a lot to bring out the lines and then I added a little bit of bright no I turned the brightness actually down to like 33 negative 19 is what I have it right now Nin negative 19 for brightness and 33 for contrast then I took uh, the curves and changed it to blue and brought it up just a little bit just so it gives that like, kind of like blue uh, blue look to it makes it look nice you can also do any other color you want you could do red which uh, looks alright I guess I'm for blue, I think it actually makes it look more kind of metalish, and um, I, I just, just a tad, not much, because you do too much, it, that does not look metal. You do just the right amount, it looks perfect. So that kind of looks like metal to me. So now what we want to do is we have our text, and it's just gonna. This is just like how to make the comp. I'm gonna I might go over how to track it and like add it in and everything. Uh, next next tutorial after the one I just said I do about the rings on the scope. Um. So we have this, and now how to how to make this little uh, this little like light wipe that comes across, which makes it look kind of realistic. I added a new composition layer, so right click new composition layer or Control Alt Y, I think. Yeah, um, that's how you do that to make a composition layer. So we have a composition layer. So now what I did was I went Effect, and you should have I have curves, uh, color correction, and then go brightness and contrast. And I turned it up just so you can, right now, just so you can see, just keep contrast down a little bit. Brightness up to like 100, and then I changed the contrast to like 53. And now what we want to do is mask the uh, adjustment layer. So just grab the rectangle tool, and I just drew a mask right here. And then what I did is I rotated it. So push R on your keyboard with the adjustment layer 2 selected, and I turned it negative, let's go negative negative 17 but let's also uh, 
I'm actually going to scale this down a little bit just because I uh, think it's a little too big. There we go. Maybe move it in a little bit. All right. Looks good to me. So now what we want to do is we want to uh, key or animate it in. So start off within the top corner of your screen. Push P on your keyboard for adjustment layer 2. Click position, stopwatch. Go to the end, and I just dragged it right across, right down to the corner. So that should work. I mean, it looks all right, I guess you'd say. Um, looks okay. It's like looks like solid lines. So to fix that, what I did, uh, actually I didn't do it in the edit, but I don't. I was just uh, I run through the composition I made it before. Uh, this is how I showed you guys. Um, I didn't do it in the actual edit, but I just figured out that if you go to masks and you add a little bit of feather onto it, like uh, probably 50, 60, it makes it look a lot nicer. It actually makes it look like a light, because the way I had it before, with zero, zero feather, it looks more like a sharp, I mean it looks, still looks pretty nice, like it depends what you're going for, but this looks kind of realistic, but if you really actually add a feather of about 60 on there, it, I think it makes it look a little bit better, to be honest. So that's mainly how you make it, and uh, it's a simple tutorial, nothing uh, really too hard. It's just gotta know, gotta know about track mats and uh, how they work. But um, I think it was pretty good. And what you want, what I normally did for the, like the the edit is, um, I would freeze frame it right here, and then when I want it to come across, like when the camera kind of passed it, so that the camera looked like it was going across. Um, you gotta freeze frame it and then play it when you want it to, so you gotta, gotta do that. So I'll go over that probably in the next couple tutorials. Maybe the next one I might save the rings for the, or, uh, not the tutorial after this one, but the one after that. I'm not sure yet, but uh, this should be good, and I hope you really like this, because this, this is a good part. You gotta know how to make text if you wanna have good edits, so uh, truth be told there. Um, Hope you guys like this. Uh, I'll see you guys all next time. In the no energy, this ain't in me. Yeah, so I said I got that remedy.